There is no national monument for teachers. In fact, I've never seen a statue of a teacher. But we all build monuments for teachers in our hearts. Teachers change our lives. Teachers draw us out of our own tiny little worlds and give us a broader worldview. They open our hearts, minds, and souls to new possibilities. Everyone has a story about a teacher who has changed his or her life. Everyone has a story about a teacher who has had a huge impact on his or her life. They wish they could reconnect with those teachers and thank them. One of the reasons teachers have such a profound impact on our lives is because God's dream for each and every single one of us is also a teacher's dream. God has this incredible dream for each and every one of us as his children. God wants us to become the best version of ourselves. Teachers share that dream with God. At the heart of this job, this vocation, this ministry we call teaching is the dream that God has for us all. Great teachers want their students to become the best version of themselves. Teachers often want this more for their students than some of their students want it for themselves. To teach is a powerful collaboration with God. Each teacher works with God to help each student become all God created that child to be. When you ask people to tell you about the best teacher they ever had, they may not use the same words or language, but when you get them talking about this teacher who had such an enormous impact on their lives, they almost always describe the same two things. First, he helped me to become the best version of myself. Second, she was tough but fair. We love the people in our lives that encourage and challenge us to better ourselves. And we respect forever the leaders in our life who are tough but fair. Few things endure like respect. We don't respect the teachers who let us get away with anything. We respect the teachers who are tough but fair, but at the same time, have our best interests at heart. I had a science teacher in high school that used to let us do whatever we wanted to do. At the time, we thought that was great as kids, but we didn't respect him then, and we don't respect him now. Mrs. Miller taught eighth grade at a Catholic school for 40 years in a small town in the Midwest. When she retired, she spent a lot of time in a rocking chair on her front porch. One day she wondered quietly to herself how much impact she had had on those young lives. That afternoon, she went grocery shopping. As she made her way down the aisle, she heard a voice behind her say, is that you, Mrs. Miller? She turned around and saw a man and recognized him immediately. It was Jeremy Daniels. They stood there looking at each other for a long moment. And then she said, hello, Jeremy. Jeremy smiled and they began to talk. He explained that he now lived in California with his wife and four children and that he was just back in town for his father's funeral. I'm so glad I bumped into you, Jeremy continued. I think about you all the time. Now his eyes began to fill with tears and he said, sometimes I wonder what my life would be like if I hadn't had you in the eighth grade. Before you, I didn't like school. But worse than that, I didn't like learning. You taught me to love learning and I know all of my success is linked to that love of learning. Now Mrs. Miller's eyes began to fill with tears. They talked a little more, and then Jeremy took her in his arms and hugged her like he would never let her go. As she drove home, Mrs. Miller knew for sure what she had always suspected. Teachers changed lives, and her life had mattered. It had mattered to so many students in so many ways, and most of them she would never know about. Every day, you make sacrifices in order to teach. You sow these sacrifices like seeds, hoping they will deliver an abundant harvest, not for yourself, but for your students and for society. You have a sense that you're making a difference, but your true impact as a teacher will remain largely unknown. The sowing and the not knowing of teaching 
is in itself an act of faith. You will only ever see less than 1% of the impact you have as a Catholic educator. Never get discouraged. Never get discouraged. The good you do as a teacher lives on forever. Your goodness and generosity lives on in other people, in other places, and in other times. Teachers change lives. Your work as a teacher is changing lives in unimaginable ways. Hi, I'm Matthew Kelly. Thank you for watching. Every day we're releasing new videos and videos from the archives of the last 30 years. So click the button below and subscribe so that you can get notifications and be aware of all the great content that can have a powerful impact on your life.